Hey guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Today I am super ecstatic because my town, my village is literally rich and it is so crazy. We were blessed by the lovely Lady Irene and her statue, her memory, her essence, whatever it was that made that statue come back, Urngrith's soul or I don't even know. I am just incredibly happy because a lot has been changing around town. First off, we had all the dark emptiness just disappear and that is fantastic, right Thorgi? That's amazing. By the way, we have Thorgi, who has been out with me for a little while, and um, I've actually done a few things. Not a lot, but just enough to kind of do a little decorating around the house. And of course, I'm going to go help mine all those diamonds, especially the one that's making the cave, because I know Dr. Doctor wanted to kind of move into Donna's old place, so I want to make sure he can move there without any, like diamonds in the way even though I'm sure he wouldn't mind um so yeah I made a few things um I made a grandfather clock a keychain a coat rack and a few things I can put in my house nothing too crazy because I'm not sure how I want to interior decorate I might want to change some of the things here and hello Zoe what are you doing today oh this magic aura it's definitely the presence of Lady Irene um out of curiosity were you alive when she was huh I was, though I was just 10 years old when she had brought peace through the human wyvern realm war, so I don't remember too much of the effects of the war itself. I just know it was a bleak time in history. Oh. How exactly how- wait. How exactly- how old are you exactly? She winks at you. A woman never tells her age. That's a big lie. But if you know anything about Lady Irene, you'll know she was alive around 900 years ago. Give or take. Wow. Uh, I want to say wow, like a big wow, but uh, do you think her magic aura has helped Alexis or was it you and Kawaii that did it? Alexis's progression is definitely due to Lady Irene. However, I don't know a lot about Shadow Knights. I don't even think that Shadow Knights were active during the time Lady Irene was alive. If they were, no one knows about it, or they may have operated under a different name. It's possible they have discovered a power that would rival Lady Irene's. Which is scary, which is a scary thought. Uh, shoot. Let's see. There, no, I'm not going to say is there no hope. That's like a terrible thing to say. We'll make sure Alexis wakes up then with Lady Irene's help. Of course we will. Remember to smile for Alexis. She lets out a radiant smile. Aw, that's so sweet. And she's just looking out like, there, there, it must feel different around here. I feel it. It's just, it's just weird. It's like a nice feeling for once. After everything that happened... Especially with he who shall not be named, who obviously is Zane, and I named him. But still, it's just it's just a nice thought to um to kind of you know know that he's not here anymore. Anyway, let's just check on Alexis and see how she's doing. And Molly is nowhere to be seen. Uh, that was Cadenza out there, right? All right, yeah, we'll go talk to Cadenza in a second. But let's see what's going on with Alexis. Oh, <gasps> she's in clothes. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. <gasps> she's in clothes, and she looks so pretty. And yes, yeah, she's still. She looks like she's moved a little bit, but. Dale, what's going on with her? Alexis, she's starting to say small words. She's slowly moving. This is a miracle. That's that's wonderful. Isn't it? Molly firmly believes that it has to do with the statue of Lady Irene that you made appear in the village. She's gone to pray to it. Uh, what about you? Me? Pray to Lady Irene? Well, see, the thing is, I know Lady Irene is responsible for stopping the war between humans and wyverns long ago. She also single-handedly disbanded the monarchy and put the corrupted king to his grave. You wouldn't have the title of lord if it weren't for her. However, there are people like Molly who believe she is more than a human, that she is a goddess. I'm sorry, but I believe Lady Irene was a strong woman and warrior by heart. I believe she left her essence of magics in the world, but I do not believe she was more than a very gifted human. Therefore, I do not worship her like Molly does. But that's Molly's belief and I am in no way, shape, or form one to tell her or anyone else otherwise. Especially, uh, wait, we all have our beliefs and we need to respect that, especially in times of need like this one. That was a mouthful, Dale. Like, that was a huge mouthful. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I just ranted there. I haven't spoken since Alexis received this curse. And now that she's showing signs of being there and conscious, I'm just in a talking mood, I guess. I've been talking to her since. Molly told me to smile, so I'm doing just that. You should go see Molly, Afmao. I'm sure she'll want to thank you. Oh, the, okay, yeah, I'll go see Molly. So she's at the Statue of Lady Irene. I actually want to go see it and see how beautiful it is. Cadenza, you did wonderful on the dress. What do you think of, Ale of the dress I made Alexis? I worked super hard on it. I wish she was awake so I could find out her favorite color, if she does have one. Aw. That's so true. Aw, yeah, she, we don't even know she was a baby, so she wouldn't even know she has a favorite color. And Thorgy, what are you doing outside? How did that even happen? He's like, I'll do it. 
I don't know what you're staring at. <laughs> How about Lawrence? Are you okay? I see you move from your window there, Laura. What happened to your eyes? <gasps> can you see? Uh, Afma, I can see. How is this possible? When did this happen? Just a few minutes ago. I, I just want to lay down for a while. Who knows? This might be a temporary thing. Uh, y please do. I'll, I'll come. T uh, look, I'll come check on you later. Thank you. This is amazing. It feels so good to see your beautiful face again. You look even more lovely than when I last saw you in the nether. Uh, <laughs> just, just rest for now, Lawrence. You're right, I, I'm sorry. I'll rest until I've adjusted to seeing again. He's smiling. Oh, that's so, okay, that's so nice. I'm so glad, that's amazing! I am so happy for him! Ah! Okay, Thor, let's leave him alone. Let's let him rest, because I don't want to, like, jinx anything, especially if he just got his, this must have something to do with Lady Irene. This must have something to do. And you guys have been phenomenal. And I just realized Cookie is next to Cadenza. That is super sweet. Cookie, you are having a good time with Cadenza. I'm glad. So, Lawrence can see. This is awesome. This is, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um... All right, so let me do some of my interior decorating that I said I wanted to do, and um, just like a few small things. So let's like, for example, I just wanted to spice things up in here just a little bit. So we have like a little coat rack. Um, we have some keys. I don't know what they lead to, but they're there just to make things look fancy. Um, in my room, I kind of really want to decorate my room, especially. I want to put this um, lantern up here. There we go. Put one there. I have two. Um, maybe like some art there so that way it just looks like I have something in my room because my room is kind of just like empty my house it needs to be decorated I think that's what I'm gonna focus on uh, when I get a chance and this will be my kitchen I don't know how I feel about the floor I feel like it's too bright so I might change it up a little bit but the exterior of the house is just mwah, beautiful uh, okay so where do I put this I want to put that there yeah all right looks I should have put the other one over here because it would just look better um anyway let's go ahead and head into the town and see i'm gonna move this stuff over here let's go ahead and move into the town and see what's going on over there and um oh what's this under construction oh yes that's right oh my goodness skeletons please don't don't do don't skeleton oh the skeleton it's, it's gone okay wait is this wait shouldn't this be diamond this should be diamond this should not be what happened here well, that's interesting. I, oh, it's shoot. It's, it's bedrock. It's bedrockium. I can't break through this. Well, it's not threatening anymore. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And these curtains need to come down. I just don't even know what. I don't even want to know what Zane was up to. Huh? What was that? That was like a white thing that went in that direction. I want to go see what that was. I'm sure it was like one of Kiki's pets or something like that. What is the? Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh... That's... I don't know... Obviously, that's a werewolf, but I don't know who it is. I mean, I'm good with them. I'm on good terms with them after what I did for them in their tribe, but... Still, just... Who is this person? A thing. Werewolf, sorry. It's not attacking me. So... That's a good thing, right? Sister Afma, he hugs you and begins to give you a slobbery wolf kiss on the cheek. Who- Oh god, who are you? It's me, Lowell, don't you remember? What happened to you? Haha, <laughs> I grew up of course. Wolves grow faster than humans. I can't be a wolf pup forever, you know. But your fur is different. Ah, that, well, all wolf pups are usually the same color when they're born. When we reach our teen years, we shed and grow our true colors. Turns out I'm an albino, the first one in a few years. What do we know? Wait, okay, I guess your eyes were always red, but what are you doing here? I need Kiki. I need her to come with me to the Wolf Tribe Village. Uh, is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. We are currently at war with another Wolf Tribe Village, and Boldoff was greatly injured in one of our most recent run-ins with their pack. Boldoff has defended the village too often from this tribe, and in recent days, he's beyond healing from our own methods. We need a human healer, and Kiki's the only one I know who does not fear us, aside from you. Uh, wait, wait, so you're at war with the Wolf Tribe and Brightboard still? Are you still- yeah, are you still fighting with them? Thankfully, no. Lord Bert and Boldoff came to agree on a peace treaty. Thank goodness Bert doesn't have any children, because if he did, I have a feeling there would be a marriage involved, which would be weird for both tribes. That's great! And look! Dorgie's here to celebrate that, too! Isn't it? Now, if you don't mind, I need to speak with Kiki. Sure, of course, absolutely, I'll go with you, just in case. 
Kiki, are you- Dorgy, stop doing that! It's me, Lowell. Lowell, you look so grown up. You turned out to be an albino, I see. Yep, the first one in a while. Kiki, the tribe need your help. Boldoff needs your help. Boldoff needs my help? Oh wow, this is- Dorgy! We've been at war with a rival wolf tribe. Boldoff has been protecting everyone. He's seriously injured, almost to the point of, um, you know, I know you and Boldoff had a weird history, but I also know that before this you guys were amazing friends, and I know you both still are. He- he needs me, doesn't he? Yes, please, Kiki. I- uh... Kiki, are you okay? Your scent is much different from ever before. Really? I- I don't smell anything. Oh, no, I'm fine. My head has been hurting a bit for the past few days. That's not good, Kiki. I hate to ask of you this now, but I don't- But if I don't get you back to the wolf tribe, Boldoff is going to- Loa, of course I'll come help. Boldoff, Kiki, Kiki. Just because we have a weird history does- Uh, in time does not mean that we aren't friends or that I would never help him. I'll head to the wolf tribe as soon as I can get a bit more rest. Thank you, Kiki. You're amazing. I'll see you in the village. Take care. Oh, wow. Um- Lowell, well, he sure went off in a hurry, but I don't blame him. He's got a lot on his plate. Kiki, are... I mean, you still look like you're tired. Are you okay? Afmal, Lowell wants me to head to the Wolf Tribe Village. I'm sure you heard. Sorry for eavesdropping! It's quite alright, but Afmal, I don't think I'm in any shape to make the trip there on my own. Do you think you and I could head there together first thing in the morning? I wouldn't normally ask this of anyone, but I need help this time. I don't feel good, but if Boldoff is in serious trouble, there is no time to lose. I must get there to help him. Please, Afmao, I would never ask this of you if I didn't need this. I mean, the village is fine now. Zane's gone. The diamonds, the... Oh, this... Uh, this Actually, this comes at a great time because no one's in danger right now. Of course, I'd never turn down a request from you, Kiki. Thank you so much, Afmao. I'll get ready to go in the morning. If I were you, I'd stock up on supplies before we go. If there's a tribe war going on between the two wolf tribes, then things might get messy. Though I wish they never fought. They are all pe beautiful creatures. Maybe we can help bring peace to them. I mean, yeah, of course. I I just, wor I just worry about leaving our village. I mean, I, I know everything's fine for now, but there's always a calm before, like... No, no, I can't think like that. I have to keep smiling. So Kiki will be fine. Sean Connor, you did you and Cuddlezilla just right around. It's so cute. I hope they stand up because I like when they stand up and they're running around. It's like, so, okay, they're gone. <laughs> All right. So um, we'll be going. Thorgy, come on. Let's get heading. Um, Let's go check on everyone. Just make sure. Uh, Molly wants to see us. I forget. There's like so much we got to do. And we, also we got to help out with a few diamond mine, like some diamond mining over there in the, um, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, it, where all this stuff happened. It's under construction. Yes, I know. And, whoo, <gasps> the statue's glowing this time. <gasps> That's so pretty. I swear I love this statue. I wonder I wonder what she was like, Lady Irene. Uh Molly? Are you I guess she's busy praying and oh she's got to let you she's door. Molly. Afmouth, thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew smiling would get us somewhere. I knew Lady Irene would help us. I knew it. I'm just going to continue to pray here for Alexis and of course I'm going to keep smiling. He <laughs> I'm so happy we're getting somewhere. Oh, that's so sweet. And, ooh. Look at you guys. You guys look busy, but I'm just so sweet. I am so happy for Molly. Her spirits are high. That's great. I am just... It just makes me happy. All right. So, and we got Garf and Greywind and Brian over here. You guys are... Oh, they're mining. Lord Afmao, this is such a blessing. All these diamonds. We can do so much toward improving the village with them. <laughs> I could say those are mine. But what do you mean? We can get more guards to help protect the village. Maybe they'll grow attached to it and become citizens. We can also hire a band of traveling carpenters to help build up the village and our defenses, just in case Zane returns. What do you think? No, these are my diamond. I would never say something like that. I think it's a wonderful idea, Gara. Great. You look like you have something on your mind. Uh... I mean, I don't have to worry him about anything else, but I really should tell him the truth because if I leave, he'll be the one in charge. Tell him, yeah, tell him about Kiki and the werewolves. I see. Afmao, if you need to take Kiki to the wolf tribe, then by all means, please do. Kiki is a villager here, and if she needs our help, we can definitely do that. I'll keep watch over the village and Levin while you are gone. If anything happens, I'll have Raven send you a message, okay? Uh, no, I'm staying. These are my diamonds. I could be so selfish if I wanted to. But no, that sounds like a great plan. 
Great. While you are gone, I'll find ways to improve the village. I'm sure there's a, with the statue of Lady Irene here, people will think twice before they try to mess with us. I'll send some supplies to the docks for your journey tomorrow. Take care, Lady Athma. <sighs> All right, this is great. And what are you doing, Grey Wind? Why are you got like a diamond in your mouth? <laughs> he lets out a muffled bark. <laughs> He's carrying a diamond. That is so cute. And Brian. Oh, ooh, Garth and I have been trying to mine this area for a while. I need a break. All right, good, because you know what? I'm here to help. I'm here to help just a little bit. Um, Oh, doctor, doctor, what are you doing up here? You shouldn't. I mean, this is not good, especially for a man of your age. I mean, I mean, no, no offense, you know, not to like that, but I'm just. Oh, my, your village is indeed prosperous. Maybe I'll consider becoming a villager here. Ho, ho, ho. But really, we'll see. I really like my home in Brightport, to be honest. Now to fix up the shed. Okay, all right, well, you fix up that shed. I'm going to mine some of this diamond. Because if Brian needs some help, I could do some of that. I mean, come on. They, they've been mining here for, it looks like a while. Because I remember this whole thing was like a huge crevice area. And it was just like, if, again, this place, I want to get rid of it. I'm thinking about maybe we'll put like, um, what we'll do is we'll probably put some more diamonds around Lady Irene's shrine just because, you know, she was the one. Maybe we'll leave, like, the whole thing of diamonds around here. Uh, maybe just get rid of that and, um, just make it look nice, you know, overall. But I don't want this part here, and that's just because it brings back, like, memories that I personally have. Molly, I don't think anyone else in the village remembers that except for maybe Molly because she was there when Alexis just turned, you know, dark and just... It was not, it wasn't fun for me because I got to experience first, I got to experience it firsthand. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, anyway, so let's just mine a few more. Maybe just get help get rid of this area. The diamonds are like falling down so easy, like diamonds for days. Look at this. Right, Brian? I hope I'm not hitting your head or like, or Grey Wind's head. And Grey Wind, you, I swear, it's like ever since he came over here in this black stuff, and this is why I question like the safety of that black stuff, was because when Grey Wind was here, he turned like he his 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 coat was gray and then it turned brown. So I that's a good reason for me to question the safety of that black stuff that we had prior to the diamonds. Anyway, alright, so I think we've mined enough. We've given them a good enough, like, start. So you guys continue to mine. I'm gonna go check. We haven't seen Levin. Levin. Where okay, so Brendan was watching him last. Let's go check uh, Kawaii Chan's house just to make sure he's okay, because I do not want anything to happen to Levin. The last thing I need is for something to happen to him, especially now when things are going so well. Alright, so um, let's go take a look over here, see what's going on. Uh, oh. Brendan, what are you doing over here? Where's Levin? Where is Levin, Brendan? I can be cute too. Darn. Why does Levin get all the attention? <sighs> but I guess it's kind of my fault. I haven't even asked Kawaii Chan out yet. I really should try getting around that. Right now, I'm just like her good friend. Grumble, grumble. Okay. That's. Oh, Thorgy! What's going on? What's going on, Thorgy? Oh, Thorgy, here. Eat some food. There you go. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know. That scared me so much. I'm so glad you're okay, though. I'm so glad you're okay. Alright, that's scary. You sit right there, alright? I don't want you walking around anymore. Alright, where's. Lev. Why is he so- <gasps> He's got hair! I was not expecting that. <laughs> Levin! Hi, Mama! I love you! Levin is slowly becoming more mature and he has hair now! He's got- Oh, he's got like a mixture of brown and gold! He's so cute! And Kawaii-chan, you're giving him a piggyback raise! His, his legs- Look at little Levin! He's growing hair and is saying new words, Apmao senpai You're going to have a little man on your hands before it- uh, before you know it, hmm, would you mind if Kawaii Chan dressed up Levin like a little man maid? He, <laughs> Kawaii Chan thinks Levin would look so adorable. <laughs> he is so cute. Look at that. He's got hair and everything. He's slowly growing. He's got like a little cowlick in the back. That is so cute. Okay, well, that is so cute. So Kawaii Chan's taking care of him, and Brendan is jealous. And Kimi Chan, you need to pull your act together. Come on, just, just don't, don't get stuck it like that. Let's. There you go. There you go. I helped you. All right. Um. Ooh. That's different. That's different. This is place is just completely different. Uh oh. Emmeline. I'm studying more on Lady Irene and trying to find out more about the phenomenon going on here in the village. I don't think being Kawaii is for me or Brendan. I think I'm just happy doing my own thing, reading. Now if you'll excuse me, I have books to get into. Oh, that concluded so nicely! I like how she just discovered being herself was the best thing. And oh, there's... 
That is so cute. There's a mini. It's a it's a mini statue replica of Lady Irene. She's not whole. Okay, so it's a few things. She's not glowing, and she doesn't have the the stat. So it's just like a little replica she can study. <gasps> that is so cute. I want one of those in my house. How do I get one, Emmeline? You have to tell me. Uh, throw crystal shards at you. Study those and get me one. I really want one. I really want one. Can I just take that one? That would be great, I, but I can't take it because I'm a, I'm a lord and I have to be a good person. Alrighty, well, it looks like everyone in the village is doing good today. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. It looks like we're going to have to go out and we're going to have to... Oh, wait, Thorgy, I almost forgot Thorgy. Um, it looks like we're going to have to go to the Wolf Village, the Wolf Village tribe next time to help them. I mean, I think that would be the best idea is if we just go over there, see if everything's okay. I mean, we've helped them so much in the past. We know them. I'm sure it's not going to be a big task to just lend a helping hand every now and then. And since they really need our help right now, I mean, I'm sure they would come to our aid if we requested it. We gotta go if they want us to, so, yeah. I mean, next time Zane's here, maybe what we'll do, Thorgy, I got, I got an idea. Maybe what we'll do, sit down, maybe what we'll do is we'll have the wolves come and they'll scare them away. You think that would work? That would work? Maybe we'll, like, dress him up as a bone or something like that and they'll just, like, nom him for a little bit and be like, Oh, no, I can't be here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.